Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Monday, February the 27th, 2023. I'm Pastor Brian J. Monroe of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and we are following John MacArthur's excellent devotional book, Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's entry is entitled, Attaining Spiritual Stability. And we read from scripture, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience. Colossians chapter 1 verse 11. The main or core idea for today's devotional is that God always empowers you to do what he commands you to do. Pastor MacArthur writes, an alarming number of Christians seem to lack spiritual stability. Many are, in quotes, carried about by every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men, by craftiness and deceitful scheming, close quotes. That's a line taken from the letter to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 14. Others lack moral purity. Many are driven by their emotions rather than sound thinking. Increasingly, therapists and psychologists are replacing pastors and biblical teachers as heroes of the faith. While we still proclaim a sovereign, all-powerful God, our conduct often belies our creed. Despite our inconsistencies, the power for spiritual stability is ours in Christ as we allow the knowledge of his will to control our lives. Paul describes the working of that power in Colossians chapter 1, verse 11. There, the Greek words translated strengthened and power speak of inherent power that gives one the ability to do something. The phrase according to indicates that the power for spiritual stability is proportional to God's abundant supply. And that supply is inexhaustible. The literal Greek says you are being empowered with all the power according to the might of his glory. That thought is akin to what it says in Philippians chapter 2 verses 12 to 13, where Paul says that the power for working out your salvation comes from God who is, at, who is at work in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 11, the result of God's enabling is the attaining of all steadfastness and patience. Steadfastness speaks of endurance regarding people. Patience speaks of endurance regarding things or circumstances. When you are steadfast and patient, you are spiritually stable. Your responses are biblical, thoughtful, and calculated, not worldly, emotional, or uncontrolled. You bear up under trials because you understand God's purposes and trust his promises. Paul said, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. That's from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. That is possible when you trust God and rely on the infinite power that is yours in Christ. Dear friends, I thank you for taking just a few minutes out of your day to listen to and consider this devotional reflection. I've taken thoughts for prayer and also for further study and place them in the description portion of this video for you. Those are taken right from Pastor MacArthur's devotional. And I can encourage you to take time to read those, to pray in the manner that's suggested, and to also do the further study, the reading, and answer questions and dig into the word a bit more because that is the work that will show you how to attain the spiritual stability you need to follow Jesus Christ.
Until we're able to be together again, I pray that will be tomorrow, to reflect on another devotional truth, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom.